The board was starting to get impatient with Sean's lack of speech, so he starts talking about how his brother went to heaven, and how his bunny went to heaven in front of him on the day that the copper pipes in an old building smelt like burnt food. He wants to make it feasible for other people because he was unable to save them and felt terrible that neither of them got the opportunity to grow up, experience adulthood, and love and have children. He says, I would like to make a lot of money so I can have a television, with tears in his eyes. Everyone exchanges quick glances, and San Jose Street Bonaventure Hospital is delighted to have Dr. Sean Murphy. Everyone claps as they shake hands. Sean hurries out of the room, changes into scrubs, and smiles as he enters the operating room while Melendez assists him with his mask and gloves when Aaron informs him that Dr. Melendez's team is going into surgery. Sean Murphy is called in by Melendez, and he sees the glass fragment that was killing Adam. As he gazes at the scalpel, he is reminded by his brother, who is proud of him, to always remember that he is the smart one and that he can accomplish anything. Melendez claims to be a kind kid, but it's true that this is his first experience. He is obviously highly intelligent, but he doesn't belong there. Therefore, all he will ever do for his team is suction. Taking it in stride, Sean says he could learn a lot from the surgeon because he saw many of them throughout medical school and is therefore better. He claims to be quite conceited and wonders if it is worth it and whether it makes him a better surgeon or worse person.